Let's model a swimming pool. First we'll create the shape of the pool from our top viewport. You can make it a regular rectangular pool with round corners. I'm going to try a nice kidney bean shape. Remember to close your curve. And after you make the initial curve, you can adjust any of the vertices to shape the pool more to your liking. Next we'll extrude the pool. Make sure it's a distance that you extrude. And we want to have the result being a polygon. In the mesh we can fill the holes. And we'll move it up in the air a bit. Now create a ground plane. Make it big enough for the surrounding area. After that, select the pool. First we'll delete by history to get it cleaned up. Name it pool. And of course center the pivot point. Now select edit duplicate. Our first copy of the pool will be used to boolean out of the ground. Use this a difference boolean. Make another copy of the pool. For this version, we'll go into face mode, select the top face, and delete it. Back into object mode, we'll position, position the pool and scale it up a little bit to make it deeper. Now from the side view, enter edge mode, select all the edges on the bottom. You'll have to control deselect all the other edges if you grab some of the vertical edges. Now we'll use our bevel tool. Give it a nice bevel to round out the bottom of the pool. You don't first succeed with it. Increase the amount. Looks like five is going to work for me here. Now at the top, we'll select the top face and then select inverse and delete all the other faces. That plane will become the water. Once again, center pivot on the top plane and move it into place. Usually the water level's just a bit below 
the edge of the pool. Of course, we can do some more modeling on the deck to make it look better. But for time reasons, we'll just cover the basic look. Now add your materials. Once again, for simplicity, I'll add simple materials. We want, want to create an actual grass or concrete texture. For the inside of the pool, You may have to reverse the normals. And pools generally have a light blue color on the inside. Our last material is the water. Here's the tricky one. Use the ocean shader. The ocean shader by itself probably won't work. You'll need to increase the scale. And change the transparency. To get an actual look, make sure you render in a daylight system. I would use mental ray. And under the scene, quickly add a physical sun and sky. Render it out, see how it looks, and of course, adjust the settings on the water material again until you get the pool that you want.